Hi friends, my name is Manoj and I'm a data scientist. Right? So in this particular video, we will be discussing about two of the very most popular programming language that is the Python as well as the Ruby programming language. Right now, many might have been familiar with this Python programming language and few might have heard of this Ruby programming language as it was quite popular in the past two decades. Right now, one one common question that might strike everybody's mind is now if I want to make a career transition, right? So which programming language should I opt for? Should I go with Python or should I go with Ruby? Right? This this is one of the most commonly asked questions. Now let's let's go through the key points, some of the key points, and add the weights accordingly to the both the programming language, and then choose which one to opt for. Okay, so let's get started. So Python, coming to the Python. Python is a readable, efficient, and it is also one of the high-level general purpose programming language. Okay, so high-level general purpose programming language means the syntax of Python basically requires a minimal amount of English knowledge, right? So the language of English, the terminologies that are used in English is the minimal requirement for Python programming. If you know that, you can easily code, you can easily write the code in Python. Whereas in case of Ruby, Ruby is also an interpreted high-level general purpose programming language, but there is a small constraint with respect to Ruby. Okay, so it is quite hard to use Ruby in every field. In case of Python, you can take it for software development, application development, machine learning field, so on and so forth. Right. And coming to the Ruby, Ruby is dynamically typed and it uses just-in-time compilation. Now, just uh, this dynamically typed, what it states is there are two things, okay, statistically typed and dynamically typed. In case of statistically typed, what it happens is we are going to predefine the data types. For example, let's take up an instance, okay. So if I want to declare a variable, let's say int a is equal to 10, okay. So I'm going to say that I'm going to declare a variable called a which holds the value of 10 and is of type integer, right. But in case of Ruby or Python, even Python is dynamically typed. Okay, so what happens in this dynamically typed is you need not have to specify this int initially. You can simply write a is equal to ten. So when the Python interpreter or the Ruby just in time compilation it does, it's it whenever it encounters this a is equal to ten, it's by default it is going to say, hey, I think this is of data type integer, and it is going to assign the int type to that. Okay. And the mem memory management in case of Python is handled by the Python interpreter itself. The user or the programmer need not have to worry about that. Apart from that, Python also supports some of the programming paradigms that includes like object-oriented programming and functional programming, right? Because Python is also used in various fields apart from machine learning and data science, right? So for those functionalities or the modulations, they need this object oriented concepts and also the functional programming. So in initially this Ruby was appeared on 1995, whereas in case of Python, Python was developed in late 1980s and it was released on 1991 as the first version of Python was named as Python 0.9.0 and Python became much popular in early 2010s, right? So this was all the introductory part and the historical of the both programming language that is the Python as well as the Ruby. Now, let's view this from the aspect of machine learning and data science, right? Because that is what we are mainly focusing on. Cool. So let's get started again. So we have Python. So Python has a large range of libraries. That means there's a pool, pool of libraries that is provided by the Python that contains large number of such collections. Okay. Whereas in case of Ruby, it is going to provide only smaller range of libraries for the computational part, right? So again, it is mostly used as a language for web application. Ruby is mostly used for the, or it is mainly oriented towards the web application development part. Cool. But Python, again, remember Python is a general purpose programming language and it also provides you the object oriented programming as well as functional programming. That means if a user or a programmer wants to create his or her own functionalities, they can build it from scratch. They can construct these new models from scratch. So that amount of flexibility is being provided by the Python. Okay. So coming to the Ruby, the core function of the Ruby is web development and functional programming. As we have seen up earlier, so it is mainly oriented towards the web application department. So it is 
mainly focusing on development web development and the functional programming itself but coming to the part of python python is mostly used for academic and scientific programming that means you can use it for some computations like uh, highly complex mathematical formulations that you want to compute right so you can do that using help of python the learning curve of python is very linear and smooth because it uses simple english terminology right for the syntax in order to write a snippet of code right in case of ruby what happens is the learning curve is quite non linear and it might take much more time for a beginner or a fresher to get used to it right to get familiarized it it requires a lot of time and ruby is supported by the eclipse ide whereas python is being supported by multiple such ides like jupiter pycharm and spider right so that's it for today thank you